in our health alert this morning, the number of confirmed cases of measles rising here in Metro Detroit. At last check, there have been 23 people uh, cited with having this virus, 22 in Oakland County and one in Wayne County. And so we want to bring in an expert now to talk about the importance of trying to protect people from this. Dr. Tina Chopra, an infectious disease specialist from the Detroit Medical Center. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank How concerned are you by this uptick in measles cases? I think it is an extremely uh, extreme uh, concern about, uh, it's, I think it's a public health crisis. We are facing a public health crisis at this point. I mean, just yesterday we were reporting about how a county in New York State has banned children who've been unvaccinated from public places. Do you think they're going too far there? No, I don't think so. I think with the number of cases they've seen in New York and uh, the way it has spread like wildfire and uh, the fact that measles is a very contagious disease and it is more contagious than flu, it's even more mm -hmm. contagious than Ebola. Well, what are the symptoms? What should people look out for? So uh, you, uh, initially the patients present with high grade fevers up to 104 and uh, develop a rash, which is a raised uh, red rash, which starts on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body, cough, uh, fatigue, and uh, they can, after that, they can have more complications, you know. Let's and talk about that. What are some of the complications if you get it? So complications, more common ones are pneumonia, ear infections, which are common in children, and encephalitis is very, very common. And even death in That's some correct. severe cases. So why do you think this uptick's happening? So the big reason is not getting vaccination. You know, this resistance in some of our uh, populations in the community that don't want to get vaccinated and also travelers who are coming from countries where the vaccination rate is low like uh, you know countries like Israel and Ukraine and uh, Asia and South Africa uh, where we have these travelers who come from there and they mingle with the communities that are don't believe in vaccinations and that's how it spreads and one case of measles can actually cause more uh, infection uh, up to 12 to 18 other uh, uh, patients. So because it, it doesn't even present itself for what, two weeks? That's roughly? right. So the incub incubation period is up to, can be up to two to three weeks. So mm -hmm. the patient is infected, but the patient doesn't know, keeps spreading to others. So what would you tell a parent who's listening right now who is concerned about getting their child vaccinated? They just don't believe vaccines are safe. What would you like them to know? I would like them to know that vaccination is the key. Uh, to protecting your child. Vaccination is going to keep your child safe and it's very important that we don't uh, believe in these myths that vaccinations can hurt us. You know, uh, this is what I would like to tell everyone. Vaccination is going to build up herd immunity in the rest of the community and keep us safe for years to come. And where can people go to get vaccinated? So the, uh, they can get vaccinated. The health Department, Oakland Health Department has set up clinics. They are even available during the weekends. Uh, so there's a lot of places that they can go and get vaccinated. And definitely you want to focus on children right now and maybe the elderly. That's right. Tina Chopra, sure. Dr. Tina Chopra, thank you so much sure. for thank this you. vital information this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.